what's up it's me if you haven't been here before welcome to my channel and if you have been here before well welcome back today's video is going to be over my current like high-end um, favorites I'm gonna do another video either t later tonight or tomorrow that's gonna be like my favorite drugstore affordable brand well products um, so the order I'm gonna do it in is kind of like just a um, as I do my face kind of order um, if that makes sense so I try to keep it to one for most for most of the products like for highlighters and all that I tried to keep it to one product but some um, some I had I couldn't just pick one and some have like sub branches to it um, if that makes sense so we will go on and get started the first product I'm going to be talking about is my favorite primer, which should be no surprise to anybody who's watched my videos before. My favorite primer is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love this primer. It helps my makeup like stick. This product in itself has just been such a, like, ever since I've gotten it, I, I haven't found something better. I've gotten quite a few primers from um the drugstore that i like for drugstore and i'll use that one like um i'll be talking about it in the drugstore one the elf putty primer so good but other than that i've gotten some in boxycharm and they're good they're decent and they're like if you use them don't stop using them if you like it um but this hands down i will n probably never stop using this it is by far my favorite the next item we are going to be talking about are the high-end um, foundations I haven't gotten to try a lot um, I have the Becca which is what I'm wearing today I'm not I've tried, this is my second or third time wearing it and I'm still not super impressed with it but I want to give it some tries I'm wearing it today without a lot of powder on it but I want to, once everything's kind of calmed down from the whole virus and everything, I want to get in and get like one, maybe two more high-end foundations. I also have the Too Faced one, um, the Born This Way, I really like. But I want to try and branch out and see if I can find a less full coverage one that I like just as much as I like this. If you want a full coverage, and I mean like hides everything, freckles, redness, flawless like you're going to a photo shoot or something that's like beautiful and you just want like blank canvas to work on the huda beauty faux filter is like my hands down favorite full full coverage when it says full i mean like full and you can like you think you have full coverage but you can even build on that full coverage like it is so good and i have two shades right now i have macaroon and vanilla um, I'm kind of like in between the two right now, so I mix them, make a little concoction. Um, when I was tanning before the gyms closed down, I had gotten up to macaroon. Um, but when I'm like my palest during the winter, I am vanilla. Um, and right now, I'm just somewhere in between. And I just kind of, if I'm a little tanner one day after being in the sun, I'll add more of the macaroon and just kind of mix it that way. But it's so nice. If you... Some people don't like the smell, and some people do. It is a very, like, heavy floral scent. Um, I like it. I really do. But if you are someone who's sensitive to uh, the fragrance and scents and all that, pro I would smell this before you go online and buy it. Next is my favorite um, concealer. My favorite concealer, and it's the concealer that I use almost every time I do my makeup unless I'm doing like a lighter coverage or if I um if I had the shade that I needed but I don't I would be using the Huda Beauty sometimes as well but my favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape it has been so good some people with dry skin complain about it like drying out their under eyes I haven't had any major problems with that I haven't had any problems with this it is a very full thicker consistency um but I really like it. It covers up my dark circles. Um, it really helps brighten since I do use like a shade or two lighter most of the time. It does help brighten under my eyes and just bring light to my face. 
Next is my favorite setting powder or face powder. Um, my favorite is the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm basically like out. I'm having to like scrape it basically. Um, I'm going to have to take out the sifter and just use what's in the bottle, like the actual container because it's just like, it's basically time to get a new one, but I love this. This one just makes my skin look really flawless. If my skin is having a really, really bad dry patchy day, I don't use this one. Um, if I do, I go very light handed um, because this one does, I find it does tend to pick up on dry spots if they're really bad now if I used it today it wouldn't be that bad I do have some dry spots but this would not cling to them because they're not extreme yet like if it's so bad that you can see your skin like flaking with no makeup on don't use this one um and if you do just make sure you like really really moisturize before going in with your makeup and then just go in with a lighter hand on this but I love this one um, next I'll go in with my favorite bronzer at the moment. Um, I don't have a lot of high-end bronzers. I've just recently, um, gotten some to try. So my favorite bronzer right now is the, what is this? This is the Dallas bronzer from the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette. And it's like a satin finish, so it's not as matte as the Hoola. And it has, it's just a satin. It's not shimmery, but it's just enough to just give you like a really nice sheen on your skin. It's super buildable. It doesn't come on super pigmented. Um, I just really like if my face products, like my blushes, my bronzers, if I can build it. I don't want it to be extremely pigmented at first because if I want to use that blush or bronzer on a light makeup day and it's super pigmented I can't and it's harder to get it to work itself out than if I just go in light and work my way up but this is my favorite bronzer it's just so so nice looking on the skin it just makes my skin look very healthy because of that sheen in it and I just really like it um my I do have a cream bro cream blonde I do have a cream bronzer that I've been using lately, and I do like it. Um, I've used it three times, and it did. I don't think I used the right brush for it today because it just you can't really. I mean, you can see it, but you can't really see it. But the other two days you could. But it is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I got it in Butter Biscuit, and it just. I mean, it just looks like this. It's. I think. I don't remember. It's either their second lightest shade or their lightest shade, which I really like it. Again, it's a very like light bronzer, and so I like it because then I can just build it up, um, but it's not going to start super pigmented. My favorite blush, the one I've been really enjoying lately, is one from Jouer. Looks like this. Um, it is the blush duo and darling and it's embrace me and love me and they look like this and they both have a nice sheen to them again they're not completely matte and they're not shimmer but they have a sheen in them so it just looks really healthy you keep like that nice glow it's not what I'm wearing today I don't know why I pointed to my face um, but these are just like really light colors but again, they are buildable. So you can put it on and have like a really nice flush or you can like build it up and have like a really like pop cheek. Um, I have the other duos as well. So uh, this is the only one I've used so far, but I really, really do like these colors and I like the, um, the sheen to them. I think they're really nice. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is this packaging. It's like one of those like um, hard rubbery plastics. And so if you have the packages together, they like stick and seal together. So it's like almost like you feel like you're going to rip the packaging apart if you pull too hard when they're stuck together. Um, so here is another one of the blushes. I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah. So I'm pulling on it but you can hear it sticking. That's what it does. And it even does it like front to back. So if they're stacked, it's just, you'll wanna make sure that if you do have more than one of these to kind of keep them apart or else they do 
stick together. Next is highlighters, and I have two highlighters because some days I just want a really nice light highlight, and some of them, some days I just want a really blinding highlight. And the highlighters I've been really enjoying lately are the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics highlighters. This is the Luminous Powder. Um, I think she calls them her Mood Light powders. Um, and I really, this is the shade Brighten Up, but I also have been using the shade Do Me. And it just kind of depends on what kind of tone I want to go for the day. But these are just such a nice super light they aren't blinding so if you're expecting to be blinded to the heavens like you won't have that with this um i like this if i've used all matte foundation all matte powders everything's matte my face is matte one dimension like it doesn't have anything going on i'll put it like on the very fronts of my cheeks i'll put on my nose my chin i'll even like bring it down under here i'll put it on my forehead just to kind of bring back that life to my skin and just make it look healthy the really bright highlighter that i've really been enjoying lately is the cookie highlighter right here from benefit cosmetics it is also in the cheek stars reunion tour palette um but they do sell it separately so i don't think you have to buy this whole palette to get it dallas the bronzer i'm not so sure i'm not positive on that um so you would have to look that up but cookie is just it was the brush it was the brush okay whoo my heart stopped but this is the highlighter and it's just so i mean i've worn it it's blinding it's beautiful like uh, so good next is my favorite eyeshadow palette and this palette should not be a surprise to anyone it's just one of the best palettes in my opinion that has been on the market it's versatile it has a lot of shades and i know there's been some controversy behind it with changes to the ingredients and everything but i still think that this is a beautiful palette not this one particularly because it's really messy but this is the Jaclyn Hill, the original Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette that she did. This was the first one. And I just love all the all the colors in here. Like you can do so many like sunset eyeshadow looks. You can do neutral, you can do some pink, you see rose gold, you can do some pewter, some purple. Then you have these blues and these greens, and then you have like a dark green and a dark purple, and then you have like an orangey, but then you have these bright for like the inner corner and your highlight like they're so pretty and there are so many different looks you can do with this and then add this to her new one that she came out and there it's just like endless possibilities for eyeshadow looks that you can do and this it's a big palette but it's easy to travel with um if only there was a mirror in it that would be like the perfect palette is this and then you could just i mean it's a big palette to be holding for it but i would so love to have a mirror in this I don't have a favorite like eyeliner for my waterline or anything like that that's high end um, just because I use the ColourPop ones. But for liquid eyeliner, I really, really like the tattoo liner from KVD Vegan Beauty um, in the Trooper Black. It is my favorite. It just has a really nice point. You get a really nice angle with it. Um, I've shown you all my hack to use with the dagger one to use this as the line because it is a flat brush i use this to get a really good line across it and then i use this one to wing it out and it is just so good but if you only wanted to buy one you didn't want to have to have two and make it like super intricate this one is so good this one i find when you go to do your wings it the bristles in it pull and then it just doesn't make it as seamless and it's not as easy to work with but the um tattoo liner for my brows um anything really by anastasia beverly hills i really like but lately i've been leaning more towards her dip brow pomade um than the actual brow definer let me get my so the brow definer i have found that like the first couple uses it's really good and really nice because you still have that nice like flat perfect triangle shape 
but then the more you use it the more rounded it becomes it doesn't come as easy to make those sharp lines and you have to work a little bit more on the cleanup of after your brows but then using the dip brow you have that brush it stays nice and thin for you and you can draw individual strokes a lot easier with the brush in this than with the um the brow definer I haven't tried the brow whiz but I still feel even if I did try that I would still come back to this just because you can't make the super thin lines with the brow whiz it's a pointed pencil like a rounded pencil kind of like these like the eyeliners from ColourPop from what I've seen but um I just I feel like I would still come back to this so as of right now this is still my favorite so now we're on to mascara and this one was really, really hard for me, y'all, because you know how much, you know how much I love the Tarte Big Ego, like, that I got in my BoxyCharm. I love this. It made my lashes look so good. But I think Wander Beauty Mile High Club, I think, has taken over because I, I have worn this so many times just bare no lashes and felt more comfortable in it to just go bare lashed without fake lashes or having to add anything extra and I just this is an amazing mascara and if you're in the market for a, a like a fancier high-end really nice mascara try this and I don't think you won't be sorry this is so good so good Okay, now we only have a few products left. Um, so with lips, lips is just so hard to pick because I just, it just depends on my mood on what I'm into. I don't have a lip liner. I use the ColourPop lip liner, so I don't have any high-end lip liners. Um, but I have four different formulas that I like. Um, they are all liquid lipsticks. That's what I wear. I don't like the cream lipsticks per se. Not that I've found that I've liked. Um, because I just want something with a little bit more staying power. So, obviously, the Too Faced Matte. Um, Melted Matte Lipsticks. Love these. They, they are really dry. But they're really pretty. And it's not an uncomfortable dry. The Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is just a great product all around. All of Jeffree Star's products are really good. Next is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. These aren't like the particular, like these aren't the like favorite shades. Any shade, these are just the formulas I like. These are just the shades that I happen to have. And then the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in London Calling. So good. Any of these formulas I think you will be happy with. Um, they are, let's see, if I remember right, the Stila and the Too Faced are the more drying ones out of the four. They're not dry to its uncomfortable. It's just, you can tell it's a drier formula. I still wear them all the time and I'm not uncomfortable and I have dry lips to begin with. This one, I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator. I've shown you all before. It's just a very, like, there's no curve to it. It's just flat. Like, so it's kind of hard to get your upper lip with it. And then the Jeffree Star one, it's just so good. Like, the applicator for it, like, it has, if I don't know if you can see that, but it, like, it's a doe foot, but the doe foot has, like, a little dip in it. So, it holds more product. You get more out of, like, one application, and it's just really good. It stays a really long time, and it just feels very comfortable on the lips. Last product, um, there's two, um, just because if I'm going for a more dewy look, I'm going to use one, and if I'm going for a matte look, I'm going to use the other. So, it's the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I use this one when I'm dewy, when I want to kind of like, if I'm looking dry or my I put one in with too much powder and I just need to bring back some life to my face, I use this one. It's very, very pretty. I like the smell of it. I love the way it makes my skin look. And then last, um, the next one is the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. I love the mister on this. It is so fine. It is so nice. I almost feel like it might be too fine that you use more than you necessarily should because it's like you don't feel it but then 
you load up on it and it's like, oh wow, it really is there. Um, but it's so nice of a sprayer. I love how fine it is and I just love this setting mist. I think that is all the products. Lashes, I mean, I love the Lily Lashes so Extra Miami Lashes, but those are all the only high-end lashes that I've tried. Um, so I can't really say like those are my favorite because I haven't really tried all of them. So of course they're gonna be my favorite. Um, but yeah, so that is that for this video. It was super quick, I hope. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all found some new products that you've tried, that you can try and yeah, so thank you for joining me today. I hope you all are having a great week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and then go on and ring that bell notification button so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!